In the previous lesson, I love saying that, we made a discovery. We didn't like our counter. We like the counter that comes with generator. Now, I mentioned this before, but I'll say it again real quick. When I decided to do this project, I wanted you really to go through the thought processes and even the mistakes that get made when you're working on a project. So I collected some videos from digitaljuice.com, got some audio, and that's where I started. Now, there's other things we're doing according to a plan that I have. This may be just a basic course on Final Cut Pro, but there's things I want you to learn. But the project, you're learning it as I learn it. Now, let's do this. Let's go into Generator right here. Let's bring Counting. That's the one we want. And let's stick it above here for now. And let's put it all the way at the end, just like that. Now, let's look at our numbers, because we have to change the counter to match these numbers. So if we get kind of at the beginning right here, let's start right about here. We've got 7,169,545,37. Let's do this. Let's go into our inspector, and let's go into the start and end numbers right here. Now, the starting number is 7,169,545. Big number, 300 and let's say 75, 375. I think we can be off by one or two. The ending number would be way over here, and that would be this number right here, and that would be 7,169, 545, and say 560. Okay, let's go back to this. Now, it's going to count really fast right now because this thing needs to be stretched out, doesn't it? So let's go ahead and select it. Come up here and double-click. Let's go 130, press Return. Down here, I guess we don't need this one anymore, do we? And all the work we put into that. Let's go ahead and delete it. Should be three pieces. Here we go. We've lost it forever. Unless you want to do an undo. Now, the clock itself needs to be obviously in a different position. So let's go into our counter right here. Counting, I should say. And let's go into video. And let's go into our X and Y. And if I come to this one right here, and just drag it. I love being able to do that, clicking on that and dragging it down. Let's put it right about there, and let's go into Transform in terms of scale, and I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. Now, that means I need to reposition my world population clock, too. And let's go ahead and go into world population here, that text, and let's go into our XY coordinates here, and let's bring that down just a little bit like that. Now, if we look at it over here, that does look nicer. It really does. I think it might need, though, a little bit of a background. So let's do this. Let's go into our solids. Let's pick up custom. We want to put that between them. So when that pops up like that, let go. Put it right on the end. Now let's go ahead and make this while we're here. 13000, 1 minute 30. Press return. Stretch it out there. Next step, let's crop it out. So we got it selected. Let's go into our options right here and say crop. And let's go into a trim and go to the corners and just begin trimming it down. Now, actually, I'll tell you what. Let's do it this way. Let's go here and say show. And let's do it this way. Now, there's right. Click here and drag. Well, it just doesn't get any easier than that. Drag it over to about like that. Okay, let's do the top. A little off the top, please. Thank you very much. Now, I'm going to do something else here because this actually is kind of in the way. So I'm going to change the size just for a second so I can kind of see that. And let me go to the bottom right here and lift that up a little bit too. Click Done. That actually doesn't look too bad. Let's go ahead and go back to Fit so we can see it again. And it does look really good. Now, if we play it just for a second. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's go to the end because I think I made a mistake. We don't need it all the way out to here, do we? We want it to end there. And so we'll just trim that down to there. Okay, let's go ahead and scroll all the way to the front end. And let's bring our playhead with us. Let's just look at just a few seconds of it. Well, 
that's not too bad. We did it all with generators, and I think I'm going to leave on the freeze frame. It's still counting here. I think I like that. I've changed my mind on that too. I'm going to leave that alone and not freeze it. And so we've done kind of a makeover on this thing. We've used generators underneath our text, and we've actually changed our entire counting system for the world clock. Now let's move on.